Do you find the templates that Merch by Amazon provides confusing? Well, you're not alone. On this episode of South Florida Merch, I'm going to go over these templates in Illustrator and show you how you can use them effectively. Stay tuned. So someone reached out to me on Facebook about uh, possibly making a video explaining how to use the templates uh, that Merge by Amazon provides. They offer templates for all their styles of designs, their shirts, uh, long sleeve hoodies, uh, pop sockets. Um, so somebody uh, wanted to see how we use them. Let me just uh, say that I don't use these templates now, but they're a good uh, way to start. And they're, they're good. They're good if you want to see how your designs look on different colors right from inside the uh, Illustrator's program. So where are these templates? Uh, they're under the resources page right here where it says download product templates. We click there. It'll open up the templates for t-shirts. Now t-shirts, long sleeves, sweatshirts, and hoodies. Well, not hoodies, but these first three have the same image size. And actually hoodies on the back have the same image size. Hoodies on the front have a different template because it's a different size and so do pop sockets. But today we're going to just go over the basic 4500 pixel by 5400 pixel template in Illustrator and see how you can use it. So you download the file from here. It will be downloaded as a zip file. So you will need some kind of a program to extract it. Most computers nowadays come with a built-in uh, zip unpacker or uh, extractor. So once you download that, we'll see um, you'll get the template here the illustrator file template and let me just launch illustrator and I already have that file loaded up in illustrator so when you open up that file this is what you get um, here on the left you see the instructions and we'll go over them uh, one by one and then here you get a, a kind of a flat mock-up of what your design would look like on a shirt so the first uh, instruction says place your design. So it's open the design layer and delete the design, either delete it or hide it, and replace with your artwork. And we'll go over these other two a little bit later. So let's, let's go to our layers panel here. You'll see uh, there's different groups here, different layers. The design layer, the product outlines, we'll go over that. Colors, we'll go over that. Uh, guides are these two guides here which form across to give you the center of the artboard. This is the artboard. This is not an artboard. This is actually an image just off to the side. So this is your artboard. And then we have the instructions which are here on the left. And if we turn them on and off you can see those are in a separate layer. So it says to go to the design layer and delete this layer. You can either delete it or hide it. You can just uh, highlight it, hit delete, or hit the little trash can at the bottom and delete it or we can just hide it. In this case, I'm just going to hide it. So here's in this layer, this design layer is where you're going to place your design. So if you're not familiar with Illustrator, I suggest you learn. There's many, many, many free YouTube videos. Um, just in case you might not know, in some areas, and that's my case here in South Florida, if you have a public library card, that might give you free access to lynda.com. lynda.com is a tutorial uh, website. It's fantastic, has almost every piece of software you can imagine. has great tutorials. Uh, last time I checked, it was about $25 a month. But if you have a library card, in some areas, you get free membership to lynda.com. Um, I would go to your town or your area's library website and look around or even call them and ask if that's uh, an option. So some libraries do give you memberships to, to some sites. And if not, YouTube is also a great resource uh, to learn. There's many, 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 many uh, tutorials, many channels to follow to improve your Illustrator skills. So let's, uh, let's do something. So let's hide this layer, just like it says. Either hide or delete, so we're going to hide it. And we're just going to put a basic design. And this is the canvas, the 45 by 5400 pixel or 15 by 18 inch uh, area that our designs can can go in on a t-shirt. 
So let's just do something very simple. Let's just uh, put some text. And the design you put is up to you. If you have a file, you can also go to File, uh, Place, and import that image right into here and resize it into this area. But uh, today we're just going to do like a simple. So here in the Layers panel, make sure you're in the Design layer. This one's already hidden. You can either hide it or delete it. So in the Design layer, you're going to go to the toolbar on the left. Go to the Type tool. The shortcut is just the letter T. You can click on that. And you can just click in the box. And it'll automatically put in some, some dummy text. If the text is too small, you can change it here. Uh, you can change a font here. Actually, I want to use a font called Heavy Toss, which is a little, little bolder. And I want to change my text color to white because a lot of the designs that I do are on darker colored shirts. So we'll just start off with that. All right, so once you got it there, we can uh, click away from it. We're in the direct, the selection tool, which is V. And we're just going to make this a little smaller by holding the shift key. You constrain the proportions. You can also hold the shift and alt and constrain proportions and resize to the center. So let's just, and that's our dummy text. So we can go back to the text tool, double click or triple click on the text. And then let's change it to something like this I love if you while in the text tool if you hold the control key it'll give you the bounding box to resize once again you can hold shift and it'll constrain, constrain the proportions go back to the selection tool to kind of center it with these these guides later on we will center the whole design completely so I love what so let's put I love merch so with the selection tool you can just click hold the alt key drag it down that creates a duplicate go back to the text tool triple click on your text and we're just going to type merch so from there we're still in the text tool you can hold the control key we can either move it it's a little too big for our the size of our design hold shift and drag and we have our shirt design and this could be anything you want you can draw in here uh, do whatever you need to you can also if you have a design from outside you can place it and resize it so it fits within this uh, this rectangle all right so before we go any further let's click on this layer which says merge shift click on I love and we're going to go to our aligned just align it you saw how I moved it a little bit you can either align to the left and before we align we need to make sure we're aligning to the artboard not to selection we can, we're aligned to the artboard let's just align this to the center and we'll align this layer to the center that one's already centered so actually let me go to our direct selection tool, click on that layer, center it, click on this layer, center it, or you can shift, click both, and do them both at the same time. So our design is done. It's a beautiful design. It's going to sell lots and lots of shirts. So now what? Okay, we got our design in here. We either created it or we imported it. Now what? What do we do with all this other stuff? Well, step two says preview product types. Toggle the visibility of the product types by clicking the visibility icon to the left of the product type layers. So let's say you want to see this design on different uh, products, either on a long sleeve, hoodie, hoodie back, uh, sweatshirt, etc. You can open here the product outlines and you'll see right now we have the little eye icon which means it's visible. We're seeing the standard t-shirt front. So let's say we turn that off and we want to see the standard t-shirt back. Now we can kind of visualize what this design would look like on the back of a standard t-shirt. So let's say we want to see what it looks like on a long sleeve. 
we can unclick the little eyeball there, go to long sleeve t-shirt front, click the visibility here, and now that's what our design is going to look like on the front of a shirt. And if you notice here, let me zoom in a little bit, Amazon tells you that the design will start about one and a half inches down from the collar, which is good to know. So we can kind of visualize our design. If we want to move our design up, we can within this this frame that they, they give us. Uh, same thing, you want to see the back of a hoodie. You can turn off the long sleeve, turn on the back of the hoodie, and that's what it would look like on the back of a hoodie. Fantastic. What about colors? Kind of the same thing. You go open the colors uh, group, and here you have all the different t-shirt colors and the hoodie colors. So let's say you want to see a standard t-shirt front. We'll turn that one on. Turn off the back hoodie. So this is a standard t-shirt, but we want to see it in black. Right now we're looking at Heather Gray. Let's say we want to see it in black. That's what our design would kind of look like in back. And it helps us visualize, it helps us design for the product we're, we're, uh, we're using, we're uploading. Um, Jose Fernandez, which uh, I've kind of met through some of the groups, that's how, and he's a professional t-shirt designer, works in the trade for the last 20 years, designing t-shirts for big name brand companies. And he says he always designs on a mock-up. So he always designs on something similar to this. He has his own template, but something similar. Why? You can actually see what the product would look like on a mock-up before you fin finalize it or before you upload it. So it's a great idea, something I've been uh, doing myself just to kind of see what it's going to look like. It's a little easier to visualize when you have some kind of reference. So let's say you want to see a purple shirt. So you can turn off the black, turn on the purple, and now we have a purple shirt. So you want to see a purple uh, long sleeve shirt. You can turn off the front and turn on the long sleeve shirt. So that's what these are for. That's what the product outlines is just so you can visualize with the different products and the colors is so you can visualize your design with the color that uh, you, you will be uploading it. So step three, your design is done. You kind of like it and let's go back to some of the standard, that's the back. Let's do standard t-shirt in black. So now we're done. We want to upload our design. How do we do that? Well, step three says submit your design. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can read it. it. says once you've found a design you are excited about, hide the colors layer by clicking the visibility icon to the left of the layer and export the contents from the design layer as a new PNG. And these are the settings. Once you export, you're going to use Artboard and Range 1, Resolution 300 PPI, Anti-Aliasing None, and the Background Transparent. So let's do it exactly as it tells us here. We're going to hide the colors layer. We just close it. So to hide it, we're going to hide the color layer. And we're going to export it. What I'd like to do personally is just hide everything except our design. Just my personal preference. And if you look, all that's left is our text. Our text is here, believe it or not. And this is the actual size of the design. Here I can I'm going to show you what the product outlines does. So we can just export it. So it says to export. So we can go File, Export, Export As. We can export it as a PNG. I'm going to hide all this stuff because I got a bunch of stuff here. Uh, export it as a PNG, and we're going to put it into the desktop.
can rename it here. We can call it I love merch. And uh, I already have this file saved on my desktop just to make it faster. So the other one I called I love merch with no dashes. This one will be I love merch with, with dashes. So we're going to use artboards and we're going to go range one. Yeah, range one. Export. We renamed it, so we're going to export it to the desktop. And here it asks for the options. So we want resolution 300, anti aliasing none, background transparent, and we're going to hit OK. It will export the file onto the desktop, and let's see what it looks like. So we have the file here, and if we double click it, it'll open up. And there's your file. I love merch. So from here, you just go to merch by Amazon, upload it to the correct size. Remember that hoodies, the front of hoodies are 4050 by 5400, and pop sockets are 485 by 485. And you can use the other templates that Amazon provides. So I hope that helped. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. As always, thank you for watching. Um, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe just to keep the channel going. I'm really enjoying um, providing these tutorials. So if you have any questions, please reach out. And again, thank you for watching South Florida Merch, and I'll see you next time.